you want to absolutely embarrass your local Evo and Subaru friends, you should probably head to fivethroughsupply.com. Every $5 you spend gets you entered into a chance to win this Mark 7 GTI. Guys, in this video, it makes about 400 horsepower, so, and it's not even on the flex field yet. This thing is fast. Head to fivethroughsupply.com, and remember that Monday, we got check engine light gang shirts and some hoodies and some new merch. Every five bucks you spend gets you entered in one chance for winning this. Happy shopping and good luck. You're gonna be comfy. What is going on, guys? I'm gonna start this video off like Grand Thumb. If you've ever raced somebody that you were sure you were gonna beat, but you lost anyways, hit that subscribe button, guys. <laughs> I, uh, I love Grand Thumb. He's one, he's one of my favorite people. All right, so today we're gonna be working on the GTI. Last video, we made a full exhaust for it, and we're finalizing all the goodies. The table full of integrated engineering and FCP Euro parts is, well, it's a mess, but <laughs> we've used everything, and we are finalizing, really, the build of all of the power mods today. So, little brief go over. <laughs> That's not the word I was looking for. I'm gonna go over this really quick. We did an IS38 turbo, which is a bigger turbo from a Golf R. Integrated engineering full bolt-ons with the catted downpipe. And then we went ahead and made our own exhaust. Now today, we're installing something very cool. This video is also brought to you by Helix Sleep. We'll talk about them in a second. Also, we just want to say thank you to Integrated Engineering, FCP Euro. We've got a few things we're going to be doing this video before we take it for a rip. Now, I've got one to show you guys as an example. I think they accidentally sent me two, so I'll probably have to send one back. Two things, three things I've got to show you. This right here is Integrated Engineering's True Flex. The reason why it's called True Flex is um, so there's really not an actual flex fuel system meant for performance gains on the market right now. Just because something is flex fuel doesn't mean you're actually gonna benefit from it. So I want you guys to, I'm gonna clear the air here. Whenever I said that they were the first flex fuel mark on the market the other day, I want you guys to understand that I actually elaborated on that a little bit, but it's the first flex fuel on the market. So there's like maybe one more, but it's like so much more complicated. That actually gives you a benefit to running ethanol and Flex fuel meaning you do not have to reflash a map when you change fuels. You can go from 91 or 93 octane to any ethanol content up to like 70. I think like 75 is the maximum for efficiency for power. I know there's probably other people out there. I'm sure Cobb's probably about to make one. And, but Integrated Engineering sent us theirs and that's what we're installing today. We've also got uh, Deechworks sent us out a DW300 fuel pump. We've also got Integrated Engineering's little guy right here. I actually need to go plug this into the computer right now and get my firmware update. So we actually too are going to be uh, prototyping. This is not available for everybody, I don't think yet. If I break something today, for one, that'll be fun, and two, um, it's because <laughs> it's like really aggressive right now. We're gonna be testing out anti-lag, so I gotta go plug this into the computer, get my firmware, but uh, this is the little tuner guy right there, you just plug it into the OBD too. Now before we continue with this video, the sponsor for today's video in particular is Helix Sleep. Sleep is one of the most, actually, sleep is the most important thing. For my days, it can make or break it. Guys, if I don't sleep well, my whole day is wrecked. I have focusing issues and, and so much else, stuff that caffeine can't fix. Ever since I started working with Helix Sleep, I have used their Moonlight Lux mattress, and it has, I mean, it's, it seriously is incredible. And I've heard from so many of you guys, too, that you guys absolutely love the mattresses, so thank you guys for supporting them. But the cool thing about Helix Sleep, for one, it's very simple. You can go to the link that I have for you in the description, go to helixsleep.com slash Evan Shanks. You're just gonna take a quick quiz. If anything, just take the quiz. I wanna see what they have for you. This whole process is online. So you take a quiz, they recommend a mattress for you based on your sleep. So let's say you're a side sleeper or a back sleeper. They just ask you a short questionnaire about how you like to sleep and some other stuff. And then they recommend you a mattress. Next cool thing, the mattress that you decide to get is shipped to your house for no additional charge, okay? You don't have to go to a store. You don't gotta talk to a salesperson or anything like that. It's shipped to your door. And this little box, it inflates, and uh, you wouldn't believe how an insanely comfortable, like life-changing mattress could fit into a little box, what's beside the point. Something amazing about them, though, is they offer a 100-night sleep trial, where if for some reason, if you don't like the mattress, they will 100% refund your purchase, and they'll pay for shipping back, and you're not gonna wanna do that, because it, they seriously, genuinely are amazing. I have an offer for you guys. If you guys click the link I've got for you below, you can get up to $200 off with two free pillows. If you use that link, it's helixsleep.com slash Evan Shanks. Guys, you guys know, I mean, I've been working with them for a while and I genuinely love their 
mattress. The Moonlight Lux has, for me and Victoria both, has been so amazing. I care about you guys. I want you guys to sleep. Sleep is super important. Click the link that I've got for you in the description and thanks to Helix Sleep. Now on to the vid. The Flex Fuel sensor uh, goes right here. I was watching him do this briefly before I had to go this morning, but uh, so this is the sensor right here. That's what I just showed you in the bag. It came with obviously the sensor, this long wire right there came with, did it come with the new hoses or is that just going with the old ones? No, those are the factory hoses. The OE hoses? So you just splice into those and then you put on the push lock style fittings. Yeah, so they, they included these and then you've got this and what did you have to do really quickly to the fuse box? Yeah, so you disassemble part of the fuse box. Once you get underneath, you can actually insert a wire which allows this new two amp fuse for the ethanol content sensor. And then you depin one of the false pins from the factory ECU and insert the new sensor to that. So essentially it's taking an unused input on the ECU and then integrated engineering has a tune that goes along with it and gives it ethanol content. Simple enough. If you guys do end up getting any integrated engineering parts because of this series. They have a very elaborate install for, I'm pretty sure every single part that they sell on their site. So um, if you ever have any confusion or you wanna know how this is installed, I'm pretty positive almost everything or everything that they sell has a guide for you. We're gonna get this moving and uh, just get it started up as soon as possible so we can drive. Okay, I made an oopsie. Um, turns out we didn't actually Okay, we had all this figured out like a month before the giveaway started. And whenever I heard my boy from uh, Integrated Engineering say we needed to upgrade the high pressure fuel pump, I heard I need a higher pressure fuel pump. So um, I actually don't need the Dietrichworks fuel pump and it can't actually run with that. I unfortunately did catch it <laughs> like, like a little too late. So we now have a not torn apart, but a basket that is ready for a bigger fuel pump. So if anybody out there watching this video is planning on making big power, bigger power, and wants a Dietrichworks 300 with a fuel pump basket that is already pretty much ready to go, DM Drew because we can sell that to you or we can, we can figure something out. So we had to, uh, Drew had to just go pick up a, a brand new fuel pump. We gotta go back to stock. Unfortunately, that little boo-boo prevented us from putting it, everything stock back in. And I went ahead and had to overnight a something special for the high pressure fuel pump. So this right here is the high pressure fuel pump for the direct injection. And that actually is what I need to fix. <laughs> so that's kind of poopy, but it's all right. In the meantime, what I can do after Drew gets that fuel pump back in, I can at least get my flash started. So yeah, I made a boo-boo, an oopsie. I don't know. I don't know things about Volkswagen, dude. You guys do it too, too different. All right, boys, we are flashing her. We're about to have so many errors. <laughs> All I have to do is have a laptop, charge the car with a battery charger while it's doing this. Take about 20 minutes or so, and that's it. What I'm gonna do today is just flash the car with a 93 tune. It'll actually, it will actually bypass the flex fuel thing that we just did, and it'll let me just run 93, and we'll go for a first drive. And then once we get that little bitty $400 piece to uh, do the high pressure fuel pump stuff, then we'll test the anti-lag tune and the flex fuel, which I'm super stoked about because that's gonna get me another, I would think, 40, maybe even 50 horsepower or so. IS38 with, okay, so that's with high, high pressure fuel pump. I'm gonna do no high pressure fuel pump. And we gotta do 93 octane with crackle. You already know, we can't do it without crackle. I'm a Volkswagen guy now, boy. For those of you who are not in the USA, do we really need to have the uh, R, R plus M divided by two conversation right now? No, I don't think we do. I don't think you guys are ready for that one. Okay, now launch control for the trans map. Do, 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 do. All right, we're finished. Let's go ahead, take her for a rip. This is a killer idle. I actually really like that it's like, it's quiet at idle, but then it gets nice when you hit it. So we've got the 93 octane tune on this right now for the IS38 for the first time ever. Let's take the big turbo GTI for an actual spin. Oh. <laughs> right, we're 
pretty much warmed up. So the tune, first off, this is amazing. It feels so good. Second, the the exhaust is not obnoxious in the car, and that's exactly what I was going for. It's exactly what I wanted. Uh, third, blows the freaking tires off, dude. I can only imagine when this car's making 50-something more horsepower in ethanol with rolling anti-lag. Dude, if I do rolling anti-lag in third gear, this car's gonna be so fast. I am super convinced that this car will absolutely outperform my Evo 3. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Maybe we should race that. <laughs> I'm addicted to that. What I do want is some tires. Uh, some stickier tires will be amazing, but this with rolling anti-lag and a little bit more horsepower, dude, will be an absolute unit. Dude, going from third gear from like 40 miles an hour, this thing is probably going to be as fast as my 540 horse Evo 10 was, only because the turbo was so big on that car that uh, it had really bad spool times and it really wasn't very efficient. This has got to be one of the most efficient 400 something horsepower setups I have ever felt. And with the DSG, it just it just tr translates perfectly. Let's do another rim, dude. Yeah. Just freaking. I mean, just like that. Holy crap, dude. No way that this car is doing this right now. God dang. I really wish Drew, <laughs> I really wish Drew was able to feel this. I'm gonna have to take him for a ride whenever we finish this up, cause oh my God, I'm just on 93. I'm just on pump gas right now, guys. This is freaking amazing. And the sounds. Like an idiot, dude. I honestly, this is so crazy. I really, really, really need to put this thing up against against like a Mustang or a Scat Pack or something just to wow. Hopefully, I'm not gonna break an axle or anything, but you know, I'm not gonna make any promise, guys. If this car breaks during the giveaway, don't worry, it will be fixed, and <laughs> you will get a a beautifully perfect car. <laughs> Golly, dude. That's amazing. And no check engine light. That's a little weird. I don't know if I like that. I kind of feel I kind of feel like if I don't have a check engine light on this car then then I'm not really safe. 
<laughs> it was so fast. Really? Yeah. Hey, Gabriella, you want to hear a car? I'm in a weird, I'm in a weird spot right now in life, okay? And I gotta, I gotta make a confession here. Holy crap, it's fast. Ayo, we're good. I'm so ex, I, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking amped. Volkswagen guys, I, I think I get it now. I think I understand now. I will never be a part of your, your weird cult <laughs> that you guys have, but, Honestly, I've always heard that these German cars have over, not overbuilt, but they have so much potential. And it makes so much sense now. Like you dudes out there with S4s, you know, you can have 300 horse, 380 horsepower, something like that from the factory and go up to like 700 horsepower with a few bolt-ons and a tune. Like guys, this car will stomp. This car will likely stomp on my IS300. It would be close with my Supra, but my Supra is definitely faster. I really want to see what it's gonna go up, how it's gonna go up against this Evo, because it felt pretty similar we're gonna have to make that happen. And if we do finish the Civic in time with the slicks, because the Civic will grip, that might have to be a video, that might have to be a thing. If you guys have never felt, I wish you guys could, could do more than just listen and watch, because that was really legitimately kind of fun. And the front wheel drive thing, that makes it even better. <laughs> Considerably more fun than all wheel drive, ask me how I know. Even if you're not a Volkswagen guy, I hope for one you're enjoying the content on this car. It is really changing my perspective on how much I've <laughs> hated these cars in the past. Now, the thing is, this is a lot of work to do to a Volkswagen. So this car is not just a standard GTI, and it's also just not a standard Golf R. I mean, this is literally just about every possible thing you can bolt on and maximizing the engine and trans without having to do a full build and going absolutely nuts. Even if you're not a Volkswagen guy, I hope you appreciate this because I am not a Volkswagen guy and I still am not, but this is definitely proving me wrong and I'm understanding why people like these cars. I am literally like, I cannot wait to, cannot wait to try anti-lag. So that'll be the next video on this and I've got to find somebody to race. I might even try and race Drew. I'm pretty confident that this thing could keep up. This thing fast. I could talk about the drive that I just did for, for probably like 20 minutes, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys. Just make sure you guys head to 5.3 Supply and just know every five bucks you spend there gets you one chance to win this Mark 7 GTI. With that carbon fiber dome. As I wrap up the video, I'm gonna close this. Close. Well, this is a little windy. Well, see, this is a little windy. This goes along with the advice I gave you guys last video, but it's worded a little differently. And I do want to say this, guys. Um, last video, I said that you are who you hang around, and you won't ever understand what that actually means or understand that it's real until it's too late. But what I want to tell you guys is negativity. Negativity is so contagious. You would not even believe how much it can drag you down by let's say one or two friends in your group of four or five or six or seven or ten you wouldn't believe how much that negativity can spread so quickly through a group be super careful who you are hanging around because it is a lot easier to darken somebody who has light in them than brighten up somebody who has dark in them it is so easy to be susceptible to negativity, to whininess, to even to complainingness. Like negativity is like the main factor in like all of those. So be careful who you are putting in your ear, who you're listening to, who you're hanging out with, because it can ultimately change and ruin your life, how much it can affect you. you guys have an incredible day. I freaking love you guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. Seriously, helps me a ton if you guys watch them. Whoa, my camera doing something crazy right now. Uh, but for real, like, watch those videos, <laughs> make sure you subscribe, and uh, most importantly, hey, have a good day.